Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know you guys probably, like my friends, are tired of me talking about this, by the way I cut my hair, um, are probably tired of me talking about my breakup and just want me to get over it. It's been a month, I need to let it go, but I... Please try to keep in mind, this person was the love of my life. I thought we were going to get married. I thought everything was going to be okay. I thought we just had a stupid fight and we were going to talk it out and we were going to be okay. It didn't work out that way. But I, I still wanted to tell you guys the story of our engagement. Um, and I should, I should probably say my engagement to him. Uh, I was going through some stuff the other night, and I was trying to um, throw away stuff like notes or something like that that I didn't want to keep. Uh, keep in mind, it will be a month on Saturday that um, we haven't been together, so it's still I'm still trying to process it. So letting some stuff go um, is proving to be very difficult, uh, especially considering. And it sounds stupid, but we got a pit bull puppy. Uh, you guys saw him in my intro to um, meet my pit bull video. Uh, his name is Maestro. We were, um, we thought we were going to be okay. I, at least I thought I was going to be okay. I thought we were going to be okay, but we aren't. So, um, at the current moment, the puppy is staying with me. And he, we trade off weeks, so we have shared custody of a two-month-old puppy. <laughs> oh no. May, June, July. Three-month-old. He'll be four. Hey, Leslie. And there's my tomcat. Um. He's in my room with me for my emotional support. He, there he is. Give me just a second. Anyway, I was cleaning my stuff, just throwing away stuff that was obviously very old, I didn't really want to keep, or had, I was also going through on my social media, excuse me, trying to get rid of uh, pictures I didn't want to keep, um, just because it, it, it still, it hurts too much, but, um, I, I, He wrote me a valentine not too long ago and I forgot where I put it and I put it in our yearbook. Um, so uh, I, I'm probably gonna read that to you guys but I, I want to talk about our engagement because this was after that valentine's day letter I believe it doesn't have a date on it and it is typed out because his handwriting has always been so so chicken scratch that it, it, sometimes it was ineligible, but, uh, or you weren't able to read it, but, um, I could, uh, uh it was our senior year of high school, um, and it, it, it was April, it was April 18th in 2017, um, and that January was our anniversary, but, um, he was getting ready to, as we were getting ready to graduate, uh, I had a play coming up, I had, uh, my senior, uh, trip of my theater, uh, group, we were going to New York City, uh, and by the time we got back, I think he will He was an ROTC and he really wanted to join uh, the military. So he left for basic training, uh, I think August, August or September. Cause I thought he was there for my, my birthday, my 19th birthday. He might not have been, but um, he was in uh, Texas, but uh, he was going to Texas. At the time, uh, we were just still high school kids. Uh, he was just preparing for having to move. And 
we ate lunch in uh, our director's classroom, so it was all my friends, it was all my theater friends, my best friend at the time, which is not the same as my best friend now, um, but my friend, uh, who is now my best friend, was still in there, and keep in mind, this is a group of 14 to 18, maybe even 19 year old kids, and we're all very tech oriented, normally we're all on our phones, even during lunch, and talking to each other, and in and he comes with a couple of his ROTC friends, and uh, I thought he had a meeting, I thought he was busy, and he came in, and I remember I got up and I asked, because uh, he motioned for me to come to the front of the classroom, classroom, and uh, I said, well, what do you want? <laughs> and he slid down onto one knee. And the room erupted. <laughs> my theater director was screaming, oh my god, oh my god, and the teacher across the hall came over, and everyone was watching, everyone was squealing, and he couldn't even get the words out. He started to cry, and he held up my ring, which, it's a little, it's a little tarnished now, but he, uh, and it didn't really fit right, so I fixed it. But he started crying, and he couldn't get the words out. And I said yes, and... No one had touched their cell phones. He didn't tell anyone. No one took a video or anything, but afterwards... My friend Chels took a picture, and she, uh... She was the only one that took a picture. And I remember another one of my friends with the, uh, the one with the two-year-old son went running down the hallway, Sarah is engaged! <laughs> I was just so happy, and so was he, and I know things change, but that popped in my head the other night, and it just... I really thought we were going to be okay. <sighs> but, um, you know, my parents had always nitpicked at everything that he did, and uh, my best friends at the time in school definitely picked on everything that he did. For some reason, they just did not like him. And,. I didn't see it, and I still don't see it even after this, because he is in a... <laughs> he is a great guy, and he might not be the best at communication in a relationship, but he... He knows how to calm you down when you're upset, and he knows how to make you feel loved and appreciated, and you even when he's not happy or when he's trying to talk to me and I'm having a bad night about all this, he's still trying to calm me down. And I don't know if he's doing that because he thinks it's a priority now or what. And I know I need to stop talking to him. I'm sorry, I didn't want this to be another bawling video, but I am a very emotional person. I wear my emotions out on my sleeve so you can tell when I'm not happy and you can tell when- Hi, buddy. And you can tell when I'm upset. I mean, we have gone- we got into arguments like every couple does when we first moved in together. When we were first adjusting to living together. But it just- I don't know what he would have done with all this, with learning that he wasn't happy if we had already gotten married. I don't know if right now we'd be going for a divorce or what. And it's the idea of that that hurts that I thought we were going to be okay or 
or at least that we love each other enough to talk about this, but I never shut up, so I guess he was just tired of trying. But the, uh, the letter, I, I wanted to read you guys the letter. Um, and I'm sorry again if I start crying, uh, or if when I'm reading this it doesn't make any sense. Uh, and also, we had these stupid freaking nicknames for each other. We made them up in middle school because we've been we had been dating for that long from middle school until now, uh, on again and off again until our junior year, um, January of our junior year. So it was 2016. Um. And just to clarify, as much as I want to hate him, I don't. I. I don't know what it is that he wants. Um, but we did make an agreement together that we are not dating or seeing or sleeping with anybody until he make until he makes up his mind whether this is actually what he wants because one minute it's not in the second the next he's like well yeah i don't think i can do this anymore i know i can't keep you happy and that's that's not exactly true he could keep me happy he has kept me happy i just wish i could have a little bit of his time He, we got in an argument on my birthday, we got an argument on his, and there's this girl that I was always intimidated by in school. She had, she was the kind of girl, and I don't know how many others uh, go through this, but she would have a tendency to steal his phone, because uh, he would be in one classroom, because there was two in RTC. He would be in uh, the office part of the room, and then he would be in the classroom part, and his phone would be charging in the classroom because there wasn't enough outlets in the office. And she would take his phone, and she'd take all these stupid pictures of herself and her friends. And I had asked him several times, like, hey, if you don't mind, unless it's really, you really need to do it, put a password or something on your phone, and he just never did. Um, and I had talked to her about it, and she was like, Oh, yeah, I'll stop. She never stopped. And this was the girl that tried to tell me, or tried to at least befriend me. And for a while, I was one of her friends. I mean, we had our fair share of issues. It wasn't just he or I. And I shouldn't have been as hard on him as I was about the video games. It's just, it was in the middle of quarantine and he's an essential worker. So the fact that he had to go for 10 plus hours at a night sometimes, and I wasn't able to get even 15 minutes without one of his friends texting him or getting on the PlayStation or our roommate banging on the door and trying to, um, trying to open it. Because when you say, come in to the man, he's like, oh, I'm knocking. He's like Sheldon Cooper. What do you want? He comes right in. And I'm not a person that, you know, and unless, you know, we did something, uh, would sleep in, you know, sleep clothes. So I'm like bare trying to cover up in the middle of the freaking morning. And every single time his friends asked him to do something, he'd hop on it. But the second I wanted to do something... It would, he would just say, oh, I don't know, or not right now, or something like that, but he would never give me a reason why. And if it was money, I understand that, but I thought he had enough trust in me to tell me, like, oh, hey, I can't, we can't do this right now, um, but I'll keep that in mind, and we'll put some money back. Nothing, no communication at all. And he didn't used to be this way. I don't, I don't know what happened. No, I know exactly what happened. Somebody.
that he promised wasn't going to happen. Okay. If I can get through this letter, um, this will hopefully be the last time I'm talking about this. Uh, I'm sorry I've been gone for a little while. Just still trying to get over all this. And like I said, I'm filming these because I want to be able to look back on these in the future and see how far I've come. Be it crying over him. And now and then happily married with somebody else or if we're able to work this out, hopefully happily married to him. I'm sorry. Dear Sarah, I know I've messed up a lot in the past, but I wanted to let you know I'm I'm here to stay and I'm never going to leave. I love you for, and for some reason unknown to me, no matter how much we fight or we argue and bicker at each other, I can't ever say that to you or even try to be. I know it may sound cheesy or like I'm insane, but you're the girl of my dreams and every time I hold you or you kiss me, my heart starts to race and it's hard to breathe. I remember all those years ago and I look back at them now and wonder how I ever got so lucky to have a girl like you. You're funny and smart, you love to draw and goof around. And you're a total bookworm, which I think is really cute. I don't know what I'd do without you. I never want to lose you, and I never want to let you go at the end of the day when we have to go home. I love you more than anything in this world, and it's strange to me that you can love me back because of my attitude and temper half the time, which went away. He got bullied a lot in school. I uh, picked on just because people thought he was ugly. I didn't think he was. But, um... But I love you. But you love me back all the same. Every day I try to do my best to keep you happy and make you smile because of all the things in this world, your smile and your kiss brings me the most satisfaction. It makes my heart pound and my breath is taken away. I love you for who you are, and I would never try to change you. Because I wouldn't want to ruin how perfect you are to me. I love your soft skin and your light kiss on my cheek or my lips. I find myself always lost in the things you say, dreaming of it, of what it would be like to be married already and have a family working all day to come home and see you and the kids. It would be the best moments of my life. Thank you for everything you do for me. When you hug me, I feel butterflies and I feel like I go numb to everything but your touch. And when we cuddle, all I can think about is how bad I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I know I'm talking in circles, sort of, but that's because I can't think straight with you on my mind. I just want to tell you that even though I can be stubborn and hot-headed, I'm always and always doing something stupid because I'm danger prone, that I always try to be careful because I know you worry about me. I know sometimes it seems like I charge in with reckless, with reckless abandon, but I do stop to think about how you would feel if I got hurt, so I try to always be careful as, as careful as possible. I love you for always being there for me when I'm sad or upset or mad, and you always seem to care for me even when I don't feel like I deserve it, but you always seem to care no matter how I am, you always try to help. I love you, baby, and I swear I will never stop because I can never give up on someone that means so much to me and never gave up on me. I know you're not supposed to make promises when you're happy, just like you're not supposed to say stuff you don't mean when you're mad or so upset, but... I don't remember if it was a Valentine's Day card or anniversary. <sighs> but he 
did ask for time, and this did happen once before, but it involved someone else. We worked together, and an ex that I had been with, uh, between him at one point, um, came back. Or somebody I had still had feelings for came back to our school, and I still had those feelings, and I didn't want to hurt him if I was stupid enough to do something stupid. Not that I would ever have been able to do that, especially to him, but I, I didn't want to risk it, so I asked for a breakup, and I asked for time, and he was in drill team, and so was she, and he was crying at their hotel whenever we broke up. Because it was like a couple days before his drill meet, and I didn't know it was a few days before his drill meet. But he, it was the girl, and every school has this girl. And I'm not trying to say that if you were this girl, you're a bad person. But this girl would date people and tear them down to where they didn't trust anyone anymore. And she did that to 90% of the school, and she went both ways. She was bi. And I'm not saying that people who are bisexual or pan or anything like that does that. I'm not meaning that at all. But she was just the worst person in school. No one liked her. Her own sister didn't like her. And they were twins. And he, she went to her, or she went to his room and kissed him and he didn't stop her. They didn't do anything as far as he told me. <laughs> but I... I came back around a couple months, not even a couple months, a couple weeks later, and I didn't feel those feelings I did for that person that wasn't him anymore. And he told me about the kiss, and he's like, I'm really confused, but I don't think I can get back together with you and seeing them in the, in the hallway every day and how happy he was in his... <laughs> his best friend, the guy that we were living with, said, you were so much happier with her than you were with Sarah. I'm stupid for still being bothered by that and being bothered by this other girl that he made promises to go to her place for a birthday party with her and her friends and her family and he and Corey were supposed to go it just it was the idea the fact that she made him smile when I would try to ask something if he wanted something for his birthday or if we could go do something for mine or if he wanted to go out on a date or something like that and all he wanted to do was sit at home and play video games with his friends. I wanted too much too soon is what he kept telling me. Or maybe I just wasn't as much of a priority to him as I thought I was. I shouldn't have been intimidated by those girls. But I was and I am. Because I know I'm not doing things the right way or I, I do... Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I gave him time. I gave him as much time as he needed last time. And I guess if this happens again, or if this is what's going on again, I just have to let go and hope that he either 
comes back or let go enough to where if he moves on, I'm not going to be hurt. There was somebody in my comments on my last video that had said that maybe it was just hold on my cat that it was just boys always needing an escape that we girls can be gamers and separate uh, everything our priorities from our fun and most guys can't it seems apparently but um I don't know I don't want to say that I hope things are gonna fix themselves and I hope that if we're able to we can figure out something for each other but I don't want to get my hopes up just to have them shatter that I know that it's going to take a long time for me to get over him. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have made these videos, but I, at the same time, I'm glad I did because if I, my cat's biting me, if I come back onto my channel in a few months and I'm okay with everything. If you guys don't mind, I do want to take a hiatus. Quit biting, Mom. But, um, I do want to take a hiatus for a little while. At least try to get over this a little bit. Try to get over him. And just try to fix me. Because I do have to work on my insecurities and I have to work on my anxiety and the fact that I always think that there is somebody who's going to be better than me, but there is always going to be somebody who's better than you. And I'm not saying that I was wrong about him and that he doesn't care about me anymore. But if he really wants to move on, I don't have any choice. So I'm gonna try to let go for him because I still want him to be happy. <laughs> Even if it's not with me anymore. And it sucks right now, but hopefully things will get better. I'm sorry, you guys. Stay safe out there. Wear your mask, wash your hands. And if you want to, with my mess of a life, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not going to be putting like, the normal stuff that I put at the end of my video, so this is it. Thank you guys for listening, and thank you guys for your patience. <laughs>